You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. The Neptune Festival has become Virginia Beach's way of sending summer out with a month-long bang. In the studio today, we have the two Neptune Festival experts who can tell us exactly how we can get in on the fun. I'm very glad to have you both here today. Thank you. Nice Michelle. to be here. Nice to be here. So tell us. Becky, kind of an overview, what have we got in store this year? Well, we have a lot in store. This is the 42nd annual Neptune Festival, so mm -hmm. hard to believe we've been at this for that long, but the festival just keeps getting bigger and better. And we've got coming up, of course, at the end of the month will be the grand finale, Boardwalk Weekend, which mm -hmm. is down on the ocean front. But between now and then, we have a couple of events that will also Neptune activities. We have our Fall Wine Festival at 31st Street Park coming up on the 12th and 13th. And then we also have our end of summer Bay Bash, um, which is a big dance band party fun on the 18th. So lots of opportunities for people to kind of get in the mood and get ready for Boardwalk Weekend. And um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. That is gonna be fun. So of course, Boardwalk Weekend is kind of famous for sand sculpting. It is famous for sand sculpting. Sands, the International Sand Sculpting Competition is our signature event, and that's we have sculptors coming from around the world. We have 32 that will be coming from 13 countries this year to participate in this competition. Um, it has two categories. It has a team category and it has a solo category. So we have uh, 10 teams of two and we have 12 solo artists that will be competing for the uh, purse and it's a very big deal and it's very exciting and it's beautiful and uh, it's definitely something worth seeing when you come down to the oceanfront. That is crazy. Now with international artists, Ed, or should I call you King Neptune? Either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do we get a lot of international spectating? Uh, we do. We do have some. We. Uh, I know. Last year, I met a few people from from different countries uh, that come in. We have. We get a lot of Canadians that come in. Wow. Um, but also from from farther reaches to to come in for this competition. As as Becky mentioned, it's one of the world's uh, largest and best competitions. That is amazing. The hotels must just be chock full. The hotels. Boardwalk weekend sells out. The hotels. Uh, we attract about four to five hundred thousand people to the boardwalk over the weekend. And the really good thing about that is about 65% is from Virginia Beach and the Hampton Roads region. So we're attracting about 35% of, the, of that group uh, from outside of the region. So we can showcase the, the great you know, sea-bearing city that we have. And I mean, really, as the official festival. Right, right. You know, we are the official celebration of the city of Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are, in effect, the goodwill ambassadors uh, of, of the city of Virginia Beach, uh, which and is so which you is kind of head that up. Yes, I, I am kind of the ceremonial, not kind of, I am the ceremonial <laughs> uh, uh, leader of the festival. Uh, and, and the importance of that is, is you know, we have seven to eight hundred volunteers that come out. This this event and these events throughout uh, throughout the year, and especially into Boardwalk Weekend, would not happen without those volunteers. And so I'm the ceremonial leader of, of them, but also. Uh, of all the uh, residents and the attendees to to the festival, you know we have such a a great a group of events that we put on, very very diverse, and we're looking to to appeal to just a broad range of people throughout throughout the region and and other farther reaches. Absolutely. Now, Becky, tell us some of the other events that are going on. I mean. Well, Boardwalk Weekend, in addition to the International Sand Sculpting Competition, we have the Grand Parade on Saturday, which is always a favorite that uh, starts at 1130 and it runs along Atlantic Avenue. Mm -hmm. We'll do fireworks on Saturday night at 9. Uh, actually, they're going to be shot uh, over the ocean this year for, uh, at about 20th Street, so you can kind of plan where you want to be uh, for that. We have the Art and Craft Show. We have over 250 artists that are along the boardwalk, so it's a great time to do your early Christmas shopping yes, and buy something nice for your friends or family. Um, we have the Youth Art Show on Sunday, which is great. It's high school students, actually, um, that are showing their, their art, so it's really a nice way to focus on our Virginia Beach artists, young artists. Um, we have the sailing regatta that goes on during the weekend. There's volleyball, and there's <laughs> music. We have three stages of you know, music, and then we have a family stage on mm -hmm. 13th Street that's really programmed for, you know, younger children and families to come. It might be puppets, it might be a younger show, but it's 
it's really it's really great. And so it's just there's just something to do, and it stretches. It's a long, you know, it starts at Second Street and goes all the way up to 36th Street. So even though there are a lot of people down there, there's so much room to move around, and there's so much to do that I don't think you really ever feel like you're, you know, really packed in. I think everybody can really enjoy it. And of course, the ocean is right there. So what a beautiful backdrop. Exactly. Well, there's so much great stuff happening, and not nearly enough time to cover it all. So go to their Facebook page, find them on Facebook, and vote whether the king should keep his beard after the Neptune Festival is over. And for more information, visit NeptuneFestival.com or call 757-498-0215. For a hot ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.